What's up YouTube? This is DWS Darius and this is going to be another episode of Amazing Fish. And today's Amazing Fish, the Giant Danio. Okay YouTube, so right now you're looking at my school of giant danio. In my opinion, these fish bring excitement to any tank. Now um, the reason why I bought these fish was because all the fish that I had in this tank were just completely shy, always hiding, never out. And when I got these guys, they bring a lot of life to the tank. Now right now the fish are still hiding, but that's because I just turned the lights on. But um, these giant danio, they, spend, they, they never stop moving, and that's what I love about them. They go back and forth non-stop. If you seek an active tank, if you want a tank where you can just always find movement, always find excitement, giant Daniel must be in that tank because these fish are just so active. Another thing I love about giant Daniel is the fact that they are beautiful. I mean, if I could zoom in, they move so much so it's hard to get a good focus, but the colors on these guys are just awesome. They're very common. You can get them from almost any fish store. And look what beauty they bring to the aquarium. Nice orange, stripes, with a little bit of green. Just a nice blend of colors. And it's just awesome when they're in the school. So um, Giant Daniel are some of my most favorite schooling fish. Um, they're very active, as I said before. And they reach a decent size. They reach about three inches. That's the biggest I've seen. And that's pretty big, big. That's pretty big for Daniel as a type of fish. Another reason why I love Giant Daniel is because they're awesome thither fish. Now for those of you who don't know, thither fish are fish that you would add to an aquarium in the case you have maybe a shy fish or a fish that's overly aggressive. The way these guys are just so active, so out and about and so fast, they can bring any shy fish to a point of comfort because there's so much activity in the tank. They take the spotlight off the shy fish and with an aggressive fish, they move they would um, just help spread the aggression. Say you have a bully in a tank, add these guys and that aggression can be spread more. And the good thing is that they're extremely fast so they won't be caught. Another example of the other fish is with my tin for your barbs. If we look over there inside the tilapia tank, you can see he's the main star. But if I leave him alone, he's a bit shy. So I added these three tin for your barbs with him and um, they serve as the other fish. Now what they do is provide comfort. He's not the only fish in the tank. Therefore, he's not shy, he's out and about, he eats, and he's happy. Same thing with these guys. These are some of the best type of fish out there because they're pretty cheap, they're extremely fast, and they won't stop moving. They constantly are very active, just bringing a bunch of um, comfort to the other fish in the tank. Okay, so if you plan on keeping Giant Daniel, the first thing that you'll notice is that these fish stick tightly together. They really depend upon their school. So if you want to keep these fish, I recommend a school of maybe five or more. I have six and um, they really depend on each other. They really swim together, they stay close together and that's to get the best out of your giant Daniel, you want to keep them in the school. I think if they're not in the school, you're going to really be missing out on the true potential of these fish. Another thing about these fish is that if you keep these fish, you want to keep them on a tank that has a decent hood. Um, when I first got these fish, I was keeping them on a tank that didn't have a hood and two of them jumped out. So um, these fish are jumpers, so you want to make sure you keep that hood covered, so that um, the tank covered with a hood, so that you don't have any losses because of those jump outs. As far as your tank setup, these fish can just adapt to many different tank environments. A couple of days ago, these rocks weren't in here, and these fish stayed at the top because I guess they felt more safer. Now that I have the rocks in here, they feel more safer in the rocks, so they're down swimming on a lower level so um, these fish are very adaptable to any type of tank setup planet tank rocky skate any type of tank setup i think these fish will do well and lastly as far as the diet of these fish these fish are willing to accept most aquarium foods i feed mine a mixed diet of flakes pellets earthworms and bloodworms they accept it all so they're not really too demanded with certain types of food 
and also the best thing about one of the best things about this fish is that when you do feed them because they rely on such a school you get a nice feed them frenzy I mean they're in a tight ball and it's just awesome to watch them feed because of the way they socialize and depend upon each other so yeah that's been another episode of amazing fish this has been the amazing giant Daniel now as always if you have any comments or questions about this fish let me know in the comment section below I want to thank everybody for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more and that has been a look at the giant Daniel